than anything else maybe watching what is going on guys power back here with another video and today we're gonna do a little 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 like update video i guess you'd say i'm just gonna play a quick free for all i'm hopping in right here i'm playing while i'm talking so hopefully i can hopefully i can multitask uh so today is the 11th of january if you pay attention to call of duty a lot you'll know that a new patch did come out today didn't change a whole lot in the game especially on the competitive side of things one thing it did do is it finally did add the option uh, to have an invite only, uh, wasn't even an option rather, it's just a forced thing now in custom games, uh, it's invite only. So what that actually means is if you're in a custom game lobby, you actually have to invite everyone to join, there's not even like a, you can't even join the session. The only way you can join the session uh, that we did figure out is if you're sitting in a public match lobby, everybody can join you and then you can switch to a custom game lobby. So they added the, uh, the option, but they didn't add the option to be turned on or off, it's just on by uh, default. So that's okay, whatever. The other thing I want to do address is uh, if, you, if you do play, whether or not you play pubs or competitive or whatever, uh, they did just have a huge ban. I was actually part of that ban, so I'm finally back on my account. As you can see, uh, I think I'm fourth prestige or something. But um, they just did a, like a, a large ban. It was a 48-hour ban that started two days ago. I just got unlocked today. And uh, what it was was if you did the key glitch back, I want to say three or four weeks ago, not exactly sure, where you could get an unlimited amount of keys, pretty much you just keep opening a box, opening a box, getting like 20 keys. I think it was over and over and over again. I did that so that I could get some more items without having to pay for it. And it took them like three or four weeks, but they finally banned us. They didn't take anything away. They just banned everybody for 48 hours. But, you know, it is what it is. I kind of expected it. And then I was like, well, they're not doing it now. But they waited four weeks to figure everybody out, and then they banned every single person that did it for 40 hours. It's kind of stupid, you know, we have so many other issues with this game, and they decided, like, to do that. I mean, we still haven't... We, the OSA and the Hornet are still in uh, comp. We still have, uh, like, an issue where we can't even use the CWL rules, um, like, to actually, like, we have to have, like, another host, and then, like, not even that, but I think they might have changed that now where you can actually use it with, with just eight people in the lobby. But the other problem is you can't turn off the rig draft. So, like, you have to go through that process every time if you want to yeah, use CWL rules to use the propulsion in the okay. OSA the way that they're, like, intended to be used in competitive. And then you have you still have the skinny robot character, the synaptic character that needs to be adjusted. There's, there's a lot of other problems. And, like, I wish, like, I understand, yeah, like, but, like, you know, they got mad at the end of the day because, like, it comes down to the fact that they didn't make any money. You know, they sell the option for you to buy as many keys as you want for them to make, you know, oodles and oodles of money. But then at the end of the day, like... <laughs> they worried about all the people who got the shit for free. Um, a couple other things I wanted to touch on. So recently, I'm not exactly the exact date, but I know ESWC did get announced. I have no idea if I will be going. It's it's not looking good, but um, I'd really like to go. Uh, it's a lot of money to go over to France, uh, to Paris, especially this um, like this with this little time. Uh, to actually book and like get everything set up. I know I'll be going to Atlanta no matter what, but whether or not I'll be leaving Atlanta uh, to go right to Paris or if I'll be going home and then going to Paris or if I'll be going to Paris at all, I don't know yet. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I mean, it makes sense. It's it's really going to, like, the teams that do get a chance to go, it's going to put them so far ahead. I mean, obviously, like, the top, probably the top 10 pro point teams will go, and then there's a few AM teams. Uh, that did get accepted, uh, but that's huge for them, you know, great for them. I'm, I'm really happy for the friends and the people that I know that are getting to go. Like, it's awesome. I, I really hope that I would get a chance to go or wish that I can go. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, so ESWC. Uh, so the way I, I know that works is from what I heard, there's going to be four North American teams in pool play, and then there's going to be everybody else is going to be an open, including, like, some juggernaut teams like Envious and pretty much, I mean, a lot of other teams that aren't in the top four pro points. So I think the top, if I'm not mistaken, the top four pro point teams are Rise, Optic, Phase, uh, and C9, I think. So all those teams uh, will get to be in pool play. Uh, the other, th um, I mean, people are getting mad because, like, especially the amateurs, like, it's really tough for us. But, I mean, you got to look at it from, like, I mean, the European AMs are getting screwed too, if not harder, because we have more events here, no doubt. I, I still think there should be a split. I think if Europeans want to come or vice versa, North Americans want to go over there, I think there should be a split in the pro points. The pro points should not carry over to either to both arenas. That game was really short. I still have more to talk about. Uh, just to throw in quick, so Atlanta, I'm definitely going. Not exactly sure with who yet. When I know, I will announce it. But, uh... What the hell? Is that how you're supposed to use that gun? 
Dude, was that, that looked like a jitter mod. If you guys played for a long time, you probably know what a jitter mod is. But yeah, Atlanta, uh, regardless, will be going. I know it's a lot more pro points. I know, like, I think top 16, like, if you place top 16 at Atlanta, it's, like, the equivalent of getting top four at Vegas. So it's a lot more pro points up for grabs. And obviously, I'm much Atlanta, so I'm much Atlanta. I will definitely be attending. Not exactly sure with who yet. Uh, when I get more details, I'll announce it as stuff gets finalized. Uh, but I'm 100% going. Uh, then one of the huge things that I was looking at with Atlanta, I know, I'm not sure if there's going to be European or any other teams there yet. I really haven't looked that much into it, but I know the pro point breakdown is going to be a lot more. So if you get top 16 at Atlanta, it's pretty much the equivalent of getting top four at Vegas. So that's huge pro point wise. If you have pro points now, you definitely want to go there and get more. Uh, to just stay in the running or just to stay relevant throughout the year it's gonna be pretty tough though like uh, like it, to make to make the league at, in any and pretty much any rate is impossible unless you go to eswc at this point so i don't know we'll see what happens hopefully i can go maybe i can't i don't know uh, i'm not sure yet the other thing i want to talk about is the gb ladder so i have a lot of problems with the gb ladder i think it's a great idea in general i honestly like the uh, idea of it uh, to an extent. I really do like the idea of it to an extent. I really like what they did in this game. It's not like AW. You don't have to, uh, you know, you can't just play like singles matches or something to get points. Like you actually have to play 4v4, whatever. Like you can play with whoever you want. I really think they should have like, I have several thoughts. Like I think they should have a, like a, t a ladder where you have to like put four people and nobody else can play on it. And another ladder where it's like pickup kind of team kind of stuff. So that like at least you could try to get some practice going because here's my here's my issue with it So you have you get five pro points of match You want to get the matches done as fast as possible So you want to play the worst teams So you got a lot of good teams that are just waiting for like other teams like lower end teams or whatever you want to call them I mean, I don't mean to like talk bad about anyone or like diss anyone But like you, you look for teams that you think you could beat more easily and then you you play those matches just to get your plus five and you move on so it's it's very bad practice and it's like it's just very just a long a long process really i mean you're doing you have to do it you don't have a choice uh it's like if whether or not you want to do it so you so i i think there should be you know a few changes at least there needs to be like a certain amount of points you can get per day or there needs to be a certain certain hours that the ladder is active something because it's pretty much like making scrimming irrelevant and when you're spending a, like 75% of the time uh, playing, you know, teams that aren't necessarily all that good and not all that organized and all that experienced, it's really going to hurt you in the end because you're not spending as much of the time practicing. Uh, I really prefer to scrim. I don't even know. Maybe they're just going to have to get rid of the ladder and do uh, 250 series or something at this point. Not too sure what they're. I'm not too sure what their plan is for that. Maybe they'll keep it up the entire time. I don't know. I hope they do something about it though, because I'm not a big fan of playing it. I know most people. Are. But uh, that pretty much does it. Um, I do have another video coming out. I hope to talk about uh, a giveaway that's coming up. I'm just gonna hint at that little teaser here. Hopefully that video will be up. Might be up the same day as this one or later on, whenever it comes up. Uh, comes up. I'll be streaming the 2K this weekend. I should be streaming throughout this week. I want to try to actually build a schedule and kind of stick to it. So stay tuned. Hopefully, I can actually get a schedule and stuff out. I need to be a little more consistent with this. I've been I've have been having a lot of like, pretty much I've been playing with various teams, various players. They don't want me to stream. They don't want me to do this. Even if I record stuff, don't upload it because then you know it's it's still like it's still there for people to see. So there's just been a lot of a lot of problems having content it's not an excuse because i could have made separate content on my own but it is what it is so i i appreciate you guys watching the video if you like the video make sure to leave a like uh subscribe if you're not subscribed make sure to check out my twitch everything else he's too free for all the extras like i'm actually getting i'm actually getting teased but nonetheless guys thanks for watching the video have a great day